Okay, now guess who is in the news? Yep, actor, actor Lil Wayne. Actor popularly known as Lil Wayne. Um, he's out with um, a certain DPS ballpoint pen company. Um, you know, um, launching a one student one pen project. <laughs> so they are giving pens to um, senior high school girls um, in Komase. Um, the 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 school is um, the Komase Anglican Secondary School. Um, but um, they also plan on giving um, other you know schools pens you know um, to use. Um, so I think it's a good initiative, and um, maybe the timing is also um, uh, 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 very calculated when you look at the fact that. Uh, we've been hearing news about families and marriage and breakup and all of those uh, very recently. Um, I think this is very good news to be hearing. Um, so he was there with um, um, the lady who is said to be his new wife, and um, um, you know they were entertaining the students, and he was dancing. You know, uh, of course. Then after that, they were sharing the pants, and he was acting funny like he always is. Um, doing doing funny stuff you know silly stuff silly comedian stuff yeah um um his real name is kwejon kansa but he's popularly known as Lil Wayne. so most of you who watch this um kumawood movies this Ghanaian local movies you'll be seeing him a lot um displaying his um acting talent um so the the females in this school were very happy to see him the Kumasi Anglican Secondary School wow he's like a, a big star in some of these places you should see how they were jubilating and um, jamming to his songs and to his performance oh yeah by the way if you don't know Lil Wayne who is a comedian he has recorded songs as well yeah and very funny songs but they are songs <laughs> uh, they are not the normal type of song you'd hear from your um, black sheriff and all these other artists but uh, they are songs <laughs> you know how our comedians like to f um, fool around even in music yeah so um uh, he has some music out some very funny um, I, I think they are dance songs or uh, uh, they are you know those type of songs that it's mostly the beat yeah sometimes you i don't know if you've ever been to a club or um, a, a certain event where you hear a beat a music um composition but you realize that the main thing that is doing the trick in the music is mainly the beat and this is very popular of um, south african musicians you hear the beat a lot there's just so much beat inside there yeah well um this is what's happening um uh, our comedians take very nice beat and then they just uh, put anything on there <laughs> and they bring it out as music oh, but it's funny it's funny so um one thing about Lil Wayne is um though he dropped out Lil Wayne you know sometimes I'm tempted to say Lil Wayne but it's Lil Wayne so though he dropped out of um, school um, he's using you know um, himself um, to impact others and of course also benefiting from it uh, making money and enjoying um, funds from it um, so far you would hear him speak fluently in the Ghanaian languages but when he's speaking English I mean, you know he makes comedy with it he does understand English very well it's just of course the speaking that uh, you know is, uh, sometimes I don't know whether it's even really challenging to him or he's, he's really fully not at all or because I'm sure by now he should he should be able to speak he understands it perfectly for that one that he understands it you know that they're speaking you know his accent to you know he has this thick tree accent so yeah and he's a comedian too so you should just imagine um yeah so he he's he's hoping to impact the lives of um students in um, senior high schools uh, especially in the ashanti region um ashanti region is a nice place have you been to ashanti region before oh yeah 
if you check out their capital Kumasi you know especially this is the time to um, um, speak about some of um, the things that are properly structured in, in regions like the Ashanti region Kumasi is, a, is, is, a, is an amazing place I'm saying this because of the recent rains and all of the floods that you've had um, you know going on and happening um, you know in the in the in the news yeah Kumasi is not like that Kumasi it's the doctors are properly um, you know uh, made they are very big and there's there's it's like that you don't get you see the way we gear Accra circle Kanishi this place that place all the time flood flood you know destroying those places you don't get that news that much in Kumasi I've been to Kumasi and it's rained for days and there was no flood at all and I was so surprised yeah so you can check out the Ashanti region anytime you are free I mean it's not very far from um, greater Accra region so um, those of you who are always in the capital sometimes go out small yeah sometimes go out you have to you know sometimes find out some of the uh, places that are close to you and see how you know um, you can benefit from them and just know places and yeah and take your stuff out there sometimes you have to go out to some of these places yeah the Ashanti region is a nice place yeah so those of you who have been complaining of the floods in certain parts of greater Accra if you have an option to move to um, Kumasi or any other place in Ashanti region please do so um, nobody will stop you you can feel free to you know um, get a place either an Airbnb or any place to rent depending on your accommodation needs and your um, duration of stay I mean you can um, go to Kumasi for like three or four months so the rainy season is over you get it and you come back I mean it's not it's not going to supposed to be a, a big problem no at all I'm going to Kumasi or uh, Ashanti region even the um, eastern region um, we could even try western region but western region I think there was one of them that had was it western region or central region we saw videos of floods from one of those places but I'm not too sure yet so yeah, but uh, you can try definitely try Ashanti region. Yeah, you can definitely try the Ashanti region. So um, um, this one, one pen, one student, one pen um, project. Um, um, according to him and uh, and the DPS pen company, um, is going to you know um, go on um, by popular demand and uh, and by the way they hope to you know. Uh, move things for students in the areas of entertaining and also education so this is the impact they are trying to um, uh, bring right now um, the actor um, also expressed himself at the school and uh, explained that some of the issues uh, you know regarding his collapsed marriage which has been very much in the media you know news about his ex-wife um and news about se a certain actress um having something to do with him you know according to him you know they have they are not true uh, according to him they are um they are very false um according to him like some of these things are not really um true but people you know come up with stuff um and also um he's lamenting over how some enemies try to you know um use the media to tarnish his um, um reputation so um that's his view that you know it's not true that the real reason why he ended things with his um ex-wife was uh, was not because of those things that are out there and so um, i mean i don't see why it should be somebody's business anyway it is his marriage so um whatever happened between him and his ex patricia uh, whatever made them to come to a halt 
whatever about their differences uh, whatever made them to be you know irreconcilable i mean it's their own business um so yeah that is it um so um uh, you can leave your comments on the on the pen one pen one student one pen initiative um um maybe you can add suggestions on what you should do next to another school or you know what materials you should share anything at all feel free to share to the comment section below thank you very much for listening and have a very nice day